What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, the Yankees win. Uh, they didn't get swept. That's the good news. So they that was a big win. That was a much-needed win. I was worried that these guys were going to get swept. Uh, they rallied in the ninth inning. That's what they needed to do. Uh, they tried doing that yesterday, but unfortunately, it didn't quite work out. Uh, this is a celebration here, right? This is a big, this is a big victory for the Yankees. Uh, they definitely needed to win this game. Great comeback. What a comeback. You know, I was, I was worried for these guys, but um, this is the first time I'm doing a post game reaction video. I actually reached out to Jason to see if he was going to, um, if he was going to go live, but unfortunately he said he wasn't going to be able to. Um, but it's okay. Um, I decided to go live and interact with all of you. Hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, real quick, if you haven't yet, smack that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Um, share this out with anybody you know. I would greatly appreciate it. I did put a link and a QR code. So if you want to you know, buy me a coffee, it helps support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But let's say what's up to the chat. Jonathan, what's going on? How you doing? Stephen B., how you doing? Who else we got? Who else we got? Brad, it's the Wookiee. I know, it's me. But look, look, look. Short hair, short beard. I'm not Wookiee anymore. You're going to have to come up. Your daughter's going to have to come up for another name for me, dude. Hopefully you're doing well there in uh, Australia. It's been a while since I've seen you in the live streams, but hopefully you're doing good. Anna Marie, hello. Hearts, hearts, Anna Marie, hearts. What's going on? Yeah, we did steal that W, but a win is a win. I'll take it any day of the week. Shout out to the chat. What's going on? Everybody, nosebleed section. It was a it was an excellent win. It was a great win. Absolutely. Josh, what's up? Yeah, we're still in first place. Um, you know, it's it's um it's great. I, I love it. What's up, Dev? How you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Jake, yep, facts, nice comeback win. Sunil, what's up, man? Oh my God, it isn't my not for everybody guy. Yeah, I'm not for everybody. It's true. You either like me or you don't. Hello to you, Anna Marie. Hello to you. How are you? How are you? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully everything in your life is going well. Let me let me know. Uh, yeah, that was a huge home run by uh, John Carlos Stanton. Uh, Soto was on fire today. Uh, you know he looked great. Judge before he got his hit. Um, before that, um, at bat, before he got that hit, he was 0 for 12 in the series and he came up huge. He came up when it mattered. So what a win, what a win, you know, I'll, I'll take it. You know, if, if, if the Yankees are going to win games like this, if they're going to rally from behind, I'll take these wins any day of the week. So yeah, I'm crazy good, but I have a ah, bad toothache. Yeah. I hate that, man. I'm sorry. Hopefully you feel better. Uh, Stephen B, MVP, my series is Soto with defense and offense, 100%. Yeah, so much for, uh, you know, Soto has uh, is a bad defender. I mean, he's looked good out of right field so far. I'm, I'm happy. Can this hit turn Judge around? Maybe, Jonathan. We need to see more of that, uh, you know, that consistency. What's Brad saying? Uh, she said you're still the Wookiee NFE. She's a Star Wars fan. <laughs> She's awesome. I like her already. Star Wars, I could get down. I get down with Star Wars. Anthony Garcia, mi amigo. What's going on, my friend? You watch from Puerto Rico and live in Puerto Rico? Salute, bro. Salute to you. Salute to you. Awesome. Cabrera and Volpe, defense, defense was solid. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with you, Anna Marie. Uh, what's Stephen B saying? Everything is well here, bro. Everything is well here. Hopefully you're doing well, my friend. Uh, Dev, hope you're feeling better. Oh, dang, bro. Okay. All right. Texas Buckeye, salute to you, sir. The king of Texas, as Jason always says. What's going on? You never doubted them for a minute. Are you sure, my sweetheart, the drunk? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you lying to me, man? <laughs> Just playing, bro. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, but, yeah, what a what a victory. What a win. You know, this was uh, a great comeback. Um, you know, the bats were – overall, the bats did not show up. Joe Concieri, how are you, sir? Welcome, 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 welcome. Celebrating the victory, guys. 
Uh, real quick, if you guys haven't yet, please smack that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Share this out with anybody you know. I would greatly appreciate it. I am on the road to 600 subscribers. Let me know how you're all feeling about this win. Uh, this was a much needed win. It was uh, the last two games were absolutely frustrating to watch. And, um, you know, I'm glad these guys won. I re hey, salute to you, D Rod. What's up? What's going on, D Rod? Let's go, Yanks. Facts, facts, facts. It was, yeah, nice comeback. Now I can play pickleball in peace tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, just don't break a leg, dude. Yeah, we needed that win. And the Yankees are off tomorrow. So, um, you know, now they get to relax tomorrow. At least they can go to sleep happy tonight. Enjoy, the, enjoy their day off. Uh, Damien, my guy. Yo, Damien, if you want to, if you have time to go live, man, let me know. I can send you the link, bro, if you want. Yeah, time to get back and track, uh, sweep the Rays. Yeah, the Rays are coming into town. Uh, awesome, Ken. Awesome, you're at the bowling leagues. Hopefully, bowling is going well for you. Hopefully, uh, you know you're not bowling pissed off. <laughs> Let me know. Uh, even if I do break a leg up these days. All right, all right. What's up? What's up? So, yeah, guys, that was uh again great. Come back from behind victory. It was a much needed victory. Um, you know, what a what a game. You know, what a game. It, that was that was a great comeback. Judge came through in the clutch. Uh ju judge came through when it really mattered. So I was uh you know, I was very happy with that hit. I mean, that was much needed. He needed to, he that needed to happen, and I couldn't have asked. For somebody to do it, especially somebody that's that was in a, um, you know, on a on a slump. And yeah, I agree, Damien. Hopefully, this does get the captain going. I, I want this to uh, get the captain going. So hopefully, this is a hopefully this is a a, a, vic, uh, a a turnaround for Judge, right? Sorry, I'm like at a loss for words because I'm like trying to figure out, like, man, these guys did it. They have they have the fight. Um, so, you know, hopefully this is a good uh, a sign of things to come. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully when they get back to the Bronx, you know, they host the the the, the Rays. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see how they do. You know, they the Rays are going to be tough, right? A every team. In the uh, in the in the division's tough, right? So the AL East is tough. Caputo, what's up, Caputo? Or as Hector likes to call you, Caputis. All the haters can kick rocks, my man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a shirt that says Vladdy can kick rocks. I'm gonna have to get in touch with Uncle Tats and uh, make that happen. He can make. Uh, we'll have to figure that part out. Sorry, guys. I'm a little preoccupied. I'll get back to the chat here. Um, just want to make sure. All right, GF5. All right. So, yeah, our division is one of the hardest, no doubt. And Demon D. St. Toronto is still waiting for. <laughs> oh, God. I, that. that that definitely gets a start. That was funny. What's Caputo saying? I wasn't overly worried, but I have to say I was a bit worried losing three games in a row, but we can breathe now. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you know, they were on a three-game losing streak. My man, are you ready to go? Ready to rock out? Awesome. Uh, let me get this going. Damien, my guy, how's it going? I got my Alka Seltzer literally in my cup right now because that <laughs> game gave me Azita. And I'm not bullshitting. I got Alka Seltzer in this cup right now. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Texas Buckeye, J Jason's okay. He's just taking care of the girls right now. So he's preoccupied <laughs> with the kiddos. So I, I was like, you know what? I'll go live after a post game, after the game. Um, I just, oh, decided, yeah. I was like, you know what? I've never done a post game. So why not? Let's do it. Let's do yeah. it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me know, man. How how are you? How did you feel about today's game? I know overall the series was a rough one for the Yankees. 
Um, it wasn't what the results we were looking for. Um, what yeah. was the biggest thing that stood out to you? Man, um, biggest thing, number one, uh, out of all the managers in MLB, I hate John Snyder the most. Just want to put no that doubt. out there. I can't stand him, the look of him. Um, but besides, <laughs> besides that, um, Judge 0 for 12, but the captain comes through at the very end. Hopefully, yeah. you know, building block. You know, obviously, when you can lean on the cap, that's when, that's big uh, for him to come through in that spot. Soto today, three for three. Uh, you couldn't get him off the bases. Uh, the guys, you know, up to damn near OB, uh, OBP of 500. Um, Gleyber Torres is a problem. <laughs> yeah, um, unfortunately, unfortunately. Gleyber's a problem. Hard. I think I think they got to switch Gleyber and, and Doogie around a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Gleyber's earned, Doogie's earned those, uh, those at-bats at a higher at a high position. That's What's up, you, Anna Marie? That's Thank you, you, Anna Marie. Uh, Doogie's earned that, so uh, I switched Doogie, put him at the six hole, throw uh, throw uh, Torres down seven or eight until he can build up some confidence. Um, he definitely, uh, you could tell, when Glaber's confidence is off, his whole game is off. And the one thing about Glaber is it's always written all over his face. Um, he looks like he lost his best friend, his, his puppy. He looks like he's about to cry literally on the field. <laughs> um, so... Uh, yeah, Glaber, you know, listen, I love Glaber. Um, I want nothing but the best for him. Yeah. Um, not only for him, but obviously if he's doing well, the team's doing well. But glaber has got to step up somehow, some way. And, um, you know, besides that, pitching was solid today. We can't, we can't complain on the pitching. And, um, man, you know, again, I want to shout out Doogie. Doogie's been, listen, Doogie's he's been, been a he's rock. He's been on fire, right? He's yeah, been he's a been, rock, he's man. He's been it up. Definitely. He's been he's been everything that we expected. He's been a doubles machine, um, which is his trademark and fee, as we know. Yeah. And um, yo, and also Big G. I mean, obviously, you know, Big G didn't have the greatest uh series, but for him to come through in that in that ninth inning, that was a big rallying cry. That that put everybody, that put the team um on his shoulders, and they were like, all right, let's go. G's on it, so let's all let's all get on it. And then one last person, Trevi. Give Trevi his props. Yes. Um, you know, we talked about the, the the catching crew being a whole is give Trevi his props because he's come through in this series. And I, uh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Trevi, I noticed, yeah, he came through in this series, right? Again, didn't yeah. get, we didn't get the wins that we wanted. Right. But Trevi showed up in this series. So absolutely. I'm happy with that. I'm happy Trevi's coming around. Um, I want to see more at bats from, you know, Austin Wells. I mean, it's not, yeah. that's out of his control, but I want to see more. I would love to see more at bats from him. I think if you give him more at bats, he can he can definitely come around. Um, Verdugo has been, yeah, he's been stepping Lights up, out. man. He's Lights been out. stepping up. I'm I'm loving I'm loving what I'm seeing from Verdugo. That was the Verdugo. Both sides of the ball. Man. Both Absolutely. sides of the ball. So yeah, uh, de de defense and offense. He's been showing absolutely. up. Oh and yeah, absolutely. John Carlo hit that solo shot. When he hit that solo shot, I'm like, yo, come on, like this is this is it. This exactly. Is it. They you know, they all followed through right there. We I mean we they they damn near. Went all around the nine hitters in that last inning, in that bottom, in that top of the ninth. So, yeah, um, that was big. So we are we're listen, and you know, obviously, um, you know, Volpe had a little bit of a setback, you know, in this series. But I'm not worried about Volpe. Volpe will be just okay. And listen, shout out to Volpe. That last play to end the game. Listen, that's that a Gold Glove shortstop. That's a Gold Glove shortstop. So everybody yeah. give Volpe his props. Absolutely. And one last thing, hit that like and subscribe, guys. Come on now. Let's yeah, get it for my guy NFE. If you don't do it, I will send Damien after you. <laughs> All so right. he, he's, he's my bodyguard. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But yeah, you, you all heard it, man. Smack that like button. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 600. So, um, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. But um, yeah, no, I, this was a game that the Yankees needed to come through. The, the defense was better, at least. You know, that was another thing because the defense has been shaky, particularly right. with the infield. I'm, I think the Yankees heard my video this morning because I put out a video talking about how numbers two through five are not hitting. Yeah. They must they have through. listened. They came through. <laughs> I was very critical. Like, I was like, yo, two through five is not hitting right now. Um, it's been the bottom of the order. It, the bottom of the order has been, you know, they've been lighting it up. You know, I know Volpe's been struggling. Uh, but while we're talking about Volpe, what do you think of him leading off? Do you think it was too soon to move him to the leadoff spot or – no, no, no. Okay. I think I mean, I, you know, when I first heard it, I was 50 50. Then me and Hector had a pregame. And as I, as me and him kept talking about it, I was like, all right, you know what? This would be the perfect time to do it. 
So I was more on the 80 20 side. And mm-hmm. I'm, I'm okay. You know, Volpe, obviously, you know, you're not going to have your good days and your bad days. This is baseball. So uh, Volpe is going to do his thing. Um, and his confidence isn't rattled. Yeah, he had the four strikeout game yesterday. Listen, that's going to happen. I mean, the captain is doing what he's doing right now. So we can't expect anything more or less from another player, a young player like Volpe, second year in. I'm okay with it. Um, the one person that has been a consistent for this team is Waldo. Uh, Waldo from game right. one to now. So, boom, if you're listening, which I'm probably sure you're not, but if you're listening, don't you dare take that dude out that third base position. I don't care if DJ's coming back. Make DJ the super utility. Have him shuffle around, uh, you know, base to base all across that infield and keep Waldo where he's at. That dude has earned it. Um, and mind you, listen, from the left side – and the right side, because he's hitting from the right side also. Yeah, no, Waldo, you know what, man? He's He showed up, man. I was worried about him when the season started, I'm not going to lie, because we saw how he's been playing over the last couple of years, and it's it's he's looked a little rough around the edges. And with Peraza going down, DJ going down, I'm like, man, all right, so we got, we got uh, Oswaldo. What is this guy going to do? Is he going to be able to produce? And he's been producing. Absolutely. I have – I have no complaints about Oswaldo right now. You know, he's been coming through in the clutch. He's been one of the more consistent bats. Um, and uh, he plays a great third base. He made a great play today on, on the hot corner today alone. That was so. fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, bro. I, I, I love that. I love that play. And um, I, I don't want – I hope with DJ coming back because you know he's going to get plugged into the lineup. I mean, yeah. I think it's inevitable. But if this current – uh struggle with Torres continues. I think he needs to I think Boone needs to plug in um DJ uh, there DJ for Torres because some of these guys I think they need a off day. And now granted they're off tomorrow. I think this will yeah. benefit them greatly. Um you know I they might have been I mean I'm not making excuses for the two losses against Toronto but yeah I think that I think that double header against against the Guardians yeah. And then having to play the next day. I mean, anytime you have a double header, I, I think that wears down on players, man. Oh, there's um, no doubt. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't care how professional they are and how much how many millions. I mean, a rest is rest. I don't care. Yeah, no, absolutely. You, you you know, you know, you yeah, you know, there's no doubt about it. I mean, obviously, you know, being a fight game as we you know, both of us been, you know, rest yeah. is is critical. Um, in any sport, any physical sport. So um, and I think Glaber going into this free agent season, the, the pressure might be weighing on him heavily. Um, he yeah. obviously is going in. You know, he's got big expectations, huge season for him. And, you know, in, in baseball, there's two types of players. You got those when it comes to an extension at the end of their, at the end of their contracts, they're either going to perform through the roof or they're going to crumble. Those are the only two players. No happy medium when it comes to that. So Glaber, unfortunately, I think Mike, the pressure might be getting to him, knowing that more than likely, A, he's not going to be a Yankee next season, B, to perform at that high level to get the contract he wants to get, which, let's face it, what he did last season, if last season he was going into his, his uh, free agent season, then at that point, he probably commanded about a $150 million contract. But the way he's playing now, that's dwindling. So at this point, Glaber's got to – Listen, Big Dave, put on your big boy pants and uh, start stepping it up, my man. Yeah, and you know, I won't, I won't be overly critical of Glaber yet. I know he's on a on a struggle bus right now. I know he's struggling big time right now. It's still early in the season. I mean, they just played yeah. what game nineteen, so it's still early in the season. I'm I'm hoping he turns around. I like Glaber Torres. I, I've said this many many times on other people's live streams and chats and on my live streams. Um, I like labor Torres. I want him to play well. I want him to perform well, but yeah. it's just, you know, I, whether, however, his, um, whatever the outcome is for him, if he, yeah. if he ends up playing well by the end of the season and let, let, you know, he plays well in the playoffs, you know, or if he ends up playing bad, I don't either way. I don't know that the Yankees bring him back. No, they don't. And you know, yeah. when I, I understand. Obviously, players going through slumps or whatnot. The one yeah. thing that bothers me with Glaber is his body language. Yeah, his body language shows defeat. It's too early for that. You know what I mean? It's way too early for that. If we were, you know, All Star break, something to that nature, and he was playing like this. I could understand the body language, but like I said, you look at Glaber and it's written all over his face. It looks like I said, like he lost his best friend, and mm-hmm. you know, we're, we're 13, 14 games in, sixteen games, whatever it is. 
And his body language shows like he's a defeated player. So at this point, Glaber's got to step it up 1,000%. Yeah, no no doubt. Um, you know, because right now I, I have the – I'm, like, looking at his batting average right now. I mean, he's batting 208. He got a hit today, so but he struck out three times. Yeah. Uh, Volpe went 0 for 5 today. Uh, that did, he, he just didn't have a good series all no, around. No, it's not a good series, yeah. Yeah, it just wasn't his series. I mean, Soto went 3 for 3, two RBIs, two walks. He was a monster um, today. He was, was the MVP of the game. He was a monster today. He was the MVP oh, of the game. 100%. And, you know, yeah. again, for all those folks that were talking about Soto's defense, Stop. you saw what he did. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. The defense Stop. is not that bad. Okay, he's not Judge. He's not Verdugo. But no. we don't need him to be an elite fielder, that outfielder. That's the thing. He As long as he can – as long as he can throw guys out like that, I'll I'll take that any day of the week, man. Keep testing his arm. He's gonna he's gonna keep proving you guys wrong. So keep <laughs> testing his arm. Let's do it. So. Yeah, Judge went one for five today. He got the two RBIs, but that he came through when it mattered. The biggest of the uh, game. Yeah, he saved the game, man. He's a you know he, he was the uh you know the low kind of that low key MVP. You know, absolutely. Um, you know he went one for five. He struck out three times. He's got to come back down. He was scaring me. He was scaring me a little bit. But listen, I'm not going to give up on the cap. The cap is going to be no, the cap. No, and, I'm um, not, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not giving up on the captain. I'm not giving oh, no, up. Oh, no, I know. I know you're not. No, I know yeah. you're not. But you have fans out there that are like, you know, Jesus. Uh, yeah. You hear me? Let's give him the respect that he – good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Let's, let's give the cap the respect he deserves, man. I mean, this guy's put this team on his back for years. So all those fans who are hating on on the cap, leave him alone. He's gonna be all right. Just show yeah. your support, and he'll be right. He'll be there at the end of the season with his numbers: forty home runs, if not more, over hundred RBIs, Gold Glove defense. The cap is the cap. I'm not worried about the cap. Yeah, I, I think he'll. I think he'll come around. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know he. We know he missed ten days during spring training. I don't. You know, I don't know. He's. You know, it's there. It, it's just he's just. He's just missing it, you know. He's just missing it. But I'm, I mean, he I'm not, make, yeah, go he ahead. makes no excuses. He makes no excuses. No, he doesn't make any excuses as far as spring training, any injuries, nothing. The captain goes out there, he handles his business. Um, yeah. they asked him that question in post game is it because of the spring? Because you know, Boone, of course, you know, always got something to say. And they and judge was like, no, um, I don't care basically what Boone says, it's got nothing to do with spring training, so on and so forth. So, um, no, the captain's gonna be okay. Yeah, and um, I know I know some folks were giving uh, Boone a hard time because uh, you know they always, you know, with his post game interviews talking about, oh, we're just right around the corner, we're just right around the corner. Well, I guess he was <laughs> right. So yeah, a little you know, bit. and yesterday's and like yesterday's game, they almost made a comeback. They almost came back. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out the way we had hoped. But you know, the Yankees lost the series. I mean, at least they didn't get swept. That's the good news. But. At some point, they were going to lose a series. I mean, I think it was inevitable. Yeah. It, it's going to happen. I, I, you know, you hate to see it happen, but of course, it's, it's baseball. Hard. It's going to happen. It's 162 games. You're going to yeah. win series. You're going to lose them. As, as long as at the end of the day, we win more than we lose them. That's all that matters. Um, of course, you got friends, fans that are going to freak out about it. But listen, this is baseball. This is what we do. Yeah, exactly. You know, and while I'm going down the lineup here, like okay, so like Rizzo, he went one for five. You know he struck out three times. He's he's got to come. He's got to come through. Uh, Stanton hit that one solo shot. He went one for three. His batting average is at two fifty four. So, you know what? I'll take that from Stanton right now. Yeah. Um, no. Remember when he was he was at like one twenty five at one point. It's more than what a lot of people expected for Stanton to do. So, yeah. and yeah. the only ones that are hating on him now are the ones that want to continue to push the net their narrative of the negativity against them. So. Hey, listen. Give the listen. I don't understand it. Why people just want to continue to push the, neg the negative, ne uh, the negative narrative against him? Yeah. Um. But listen, we're all Yankee fans. Salute the guy for when he does a great job. Back him up when you know every once in a while. Back him up when he has a a shitty uh a shitty series or a shitty season. And uh, yo, we're gonna be all right. But at the end of the day, as long as we beat the Jays at their place with Vladdy, the last beat, last out with a Gold Glove play. I'm okay with it. I'll take yeah. it. Yeah, that was an awesome play. I I didn't I didn't think I'll be honest. I didn't think uh, he was gonna make that play because the way it was hit. I didn't think so either. But when he made that play, I was like, "Get out of here! Are you kidding me?" 
I was like, he's got oh, range. Right. He's huh? got range. He's got range. Yeah. Got range. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and then, you know, like I said, uh, Stanton's hitting 254. Uh, Glaber at least got a hit. He went one for four, but God, he needs to, he needs to come through. He needs to improve. Verdugo, you know, he's one for four. He's at 242 batting average. So his batting average has come yeah, up. Yeah, it's climbing. Yeah. And it's if anybody climbing. would say, if anybody says that they didn't, they, they didn't want Stan to hit 250 or higher and they were upset with that, you're lying. So stop it. Because, um, you know, a lot of people would just like I'm saying, he could just hit 220 and give us 30 bombs. We'll be happy. Well, listen, he's at 250 something with what four bombs right now. I think it's like uh, four home runs. Yeah. Yeah, four home runs, third in the team in RBIs, OPS over 800. What are we complaining about? Yeah. And uh, it's worth noting, too, which uh, Cabrera, Oswaldo Cabrera is at 309. He went two for four today. Yeah. And Trevino, who pinch hit and got that. Got that hit, which I thought he was out. I was like, oh no. But he got that hit. Um, his batting average right now is at 233. Yeah, if he was hitting like 061 just last yeah. week. So, yeah. Listen, so he's yeah. He, you know, I think this uh the series that game against the Guardians, he came up and in the series against the, the Blue Jays, his bat showed up. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, if he can keep this up, if he can keep this up, cool. Like, I'm I'm happy with it. Um I, I was a little – I was – I'm a little – the only thing with, with um, Wells and Trevino that I'm concerned about is just the the, the defense because a lot of teams are running on these guys. Yeah. And I'm a, I'm a little worried about that because usually Trevino could throw dudes out, but something is off. I, yeah, I, I mean, know. obviously he had the off-season wrist surgery, so um, maybe it's not, you know, a 1,000% back. From it, um, you could definitely tell he's lost some velocity on the arm. The uh, shortstop, second baseman, whoever's going to get that to get that uh, throw is always now. If you notice, they're in front of the base, having to swipe behind them because right. they already know that 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 uh, throw is coming short. So, um, but listen, the Yankees got to make a decision uh, because you can't continue to flip flop day after day. Trevi Wells, Trevi Wells. Somebody has to get the majority of those starts. It's the only way you're going to get consistency from either one of those players. So it's either going to be Wells or it's going to be Trevi. One or the other Yankees. Y'all got to make a decision on that. So, yeah, true. Because, you know, if, if you're wanting to – if you're wanting pr production out of your catchers, they have to – you got to play these guys consistently. I don't know who who plays. I mean, I, I'll, we'll ask the chat too. Like, who, who should it be? Who should get more yeah. at bat? Who should be playing more? Uh, should it be uh, Trevino? Or should it be Wells? I it's mean, one or the other. It's got to be really, because at this point, other. you're so, taking away from you're taking away from both of them at this point. Uh, yeah, so it's everybody is saying Wells needs the consistency more. Like who who would you want starting more? Like who would you want, man? I you know I in my heart I want Wells. Right. You know what I mean because I think he's the future. Mm -hmm. Um, but man, how can you deny Trevi after this after since the Cleveland? Um, this is the Cleveland series. The guys come up huge as far as the bat goes. I mean, at this point, to me, it was even because um, both of them have been kind of terrible when it comes to throwing the ball from, from home. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, they both kind of have kind of these noodle arms. Um, yeah. And the only thing that was really uh, in the middle of it was their hitting. And, you know, Wells, you know, I get it. It hasn't been consistent at bats, but he's done nothing at this point. Um so, yeah. and Trevi's been more consistent. I mean, the, Trevi's earned that at this point. Um, not only, not only as, as, as being a platinum catcher, but with the team itself, you could tell the team rallies behind Trevi behind that plate. It's a different, it's a different feeling for those pitchers. Um, you know, obviously we want Wells for his, for his bat, but when it comes to defense and calling a game, and, you know, taking strikes, taking balls that are now going to be strikes, it's Trevi. I mean, Trevi's the better defender, the better catcher. Um, and to this point, the better hitter. So, um, you know, obviously, I think this is Trevi's last season uh, with us on the contract, so to speak. Um, so you might have to ride with Trevi and, you know, give Wells that Higgy role until something uh, changes. Yeah, Wells, I mean, yeah, Trevi, no doubt, is the better defender. When it comes to defense, um, he's he's definitely better defensively yeah. than Wells. Wells is supposed to be a better hitter. 
Correct. Than, than Trevino. But so far, I mean, Trevino has been hitting better. Maybe that yeah. he's using that as a motivation as to, hey, you need to start me over Wells and yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna compete, sort of thing. And this could be this could be Trevino's last year, like you said. And the Yankees have a boatload of catchers right now in their farm system. Yeah. They and absolutely do. I don't know how often you listen or talk to Dane Huber or, or listen oh, yeah. to Dane Huber. All the time. Augustine, Augustine Ramirez is killing it right now. Yeah, Ramirez. I mean, that, kid, that kid's making a name for himself. Like, at this point, <laughs> Wells needs to really worry about Ramirez uh, because Ramirez might take Wells' spot at this point um, if Wells don't start picking it up here. So, uh, yeah. we'll see what happens. Well, you got Ramirez, Augustine Ramirez. You got Nervaez, who's, a, yeah. who's another one. Um, you got, uh, what's his face, Luis Torrens. Torrens, you got Ben Rice. Yeah, Ben Rice. Although they're, they're deep. They're deep in the catcher position, uh, no doubt. Um, they Talking with Dane, and I, this was – and prior to talking to him, and I was talking with Rob from Pinstripe Chronicles too, which shout out yeah. to those guys, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I remember because I remember I said to myself, I was like, Ben Rice could be a trade piece. And yeah. sure enough, like talking to them, they said that they said the same thing. I agree. Um, you know, for some I know pitching depth. Folks, what was that yeah. for some pitching depth? Um, mm-hmm. Definitely. I mean, they got a, they have a number of pieces in the farm that they can trade. Um, obviously, we don't want to get rid of obviously all of our top prospects, but they have enough prospects right now to where they can make a huge move at the trade deadline. So. Um, yeah, it's time to you know let, let go of the handcuffs and get some of these guys traded and get some uh, get some arms in here for us because we need an arm. We definitely need an arm. Oh, like you're talking about a bullpen arm or a, a, starter? a starter? A starter. We need a starter. Who do you have in mind? Can you- oh man! Can we yeah, what starter, me- which, uh, what starter do you have in mind? Because Cole. I know he's slowly coming back, right? I mean, he, yeah. I don't want him rush back, obviously. I mean, when it comes to elbow injuries, that's something you don't mess around with. Not only that, but, I'm, you know, I get, you know, Cole is on his way back. He's on the men. But to me, I'm still, I, I'm still, um, I'm still nervous. Um, even no matter what, I'm still going to be nervous with Cole because it is, it is an elbow situation. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we see everything that's going on with, all the top stars in, yeah. in baseball. Um, so until I can see Cole, you know, go through anywhere from 18 to 27 innings without any pain, any issues, I'm not going to be comfortable. Um, and I think that's fair because, you know, again, when you go through what Cole's gone through and they have to shut him down, it's the first time in his career that he's had to do that. It's, it's a scary situation because Cole's not going to not throw 98. He's not going to not throw his – his uh, his uh, what do you call it? His uh, curveball, his knuckle curve, his slider. I mean, he throws the kitchen sink. So torque is gonna be on that elbow, and I'm still nervous, no matter what. Yeah. Um. I mean, we'll we'll see. I know he's been like throwing from 75 feet, and it sounds yeah. like things are looking good. So yeah. um, that that is some encouraging news. Um. You know, we'll, we'll see. You know, I, I know the, the, the Yankee – or he's t- he's taking his time, and I know the Yankees are not going to rush him back. Yeah. I mean, would it be would it have been nice to have another starter? Definitely. I, I would love to have another starter. I mean, maybe after – you know, maybe next month. Who knows? Maybe maybe they call up Will Warren, you know? Yeah. I, I think Will Will's definitely somebody that should be called up. There's no doubt about it. If he'll, if he'll continues to show that he can't control the ball – then he's going to force Will Warren in. He's, you know, he's got to learn. He's got to get control. You can't walk seven batters. You can't walk 11 batters in two games. You just can't do it. As much as I love his, his stuff, yeah. um, that's a detriment because now you're killing your bullpen because uh, yeah. you're not going deep. Yeah, I, as, far as, um, yeah as far as Luis Hill goes, I, I think he'll come around. I, I think he's just needs, he just needs to have control his command. Um, he's a good pitcher. I mean, you know, yeah, he's got the nasty stuff. Yeah, he's got the nasty behind Cole. He's got the nasty stuff, but that's always been heel. Um, has been his control. You know, we've we've said it for years. If he can control it, if he can control it, if he can control it, we've said that for years now. So at some point, when do we when do we say, all right, maybe he can't control it? You know what I mean? Um, it's been that way since he got called up, you know, a couple years ago. So hopefully he can. I think he has the nastiest stuff, and if the guy can actually 
can actually, uh, you know, keep it all in and get it where he needs to get it to. Um, I mean, he'd be lights out. But again, that's a big if at this point. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll just have to see as time go as time goes on. You know, um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if he's, if he's pitching in this Tampa Bay series. Um, I, he should I wonder, be. He should be right because today be. was Strowman. So then uh, Friday they play against Tampa. So who 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 today? Imagine he might be the third. He might so be the third Sunday. The third game. Yeah, he might yeah, be the closeout. It was probably going to be Nestor, I think, on Friday, Friday. right? Yeah. And after him, it's Rodon. No, it'd be Schmidt. It'd Schmidt, be Schmidt, you're right. Schmidt, Friday. Schmidt on Schmidt Friday, Friday. Yeah. then Nestor. Then Nestor, then possibly Hill. Then possibly Hill. Yeah, I think, I think so. that's the I think that's yeah. the order. Um, how do you feel about Clark Schmidt, man? I'm 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 liking what I'm seeing from him. <clears throat> I know he kind of gets a little shaky um, at about at around the fifth inning, but. Yeah, you know, I'm. He was one of those guys that I, I really was not worried about. Other folks were worried about him. Not, I wasn't personally. I, I like I, Schmidt. I like his stuff. I mean, he's yeah. got good stuff. Um, you know, the only thing with Schmidt, he's just got to figure out how to get through that third that third time through the order. He's got to figure it out. Come that fifth inning, yeah, uh, for whatever reason, he crumbles. Um, and I think he's got to start pitching backwards once he gets to that third time of the order. So I think at this point, he's just becoming too predictable. So start mm-hmm. pitching a little bit backwards and not being as predictable and possibly he can get through that. So we'll see. Yeah. My, my, my concern with the rotation is this. I feel like the, the pitch clock is, or yeah. not the pitch clock, but the pitch count, sorry. Yeah. The pitch count is way too high on these guys. And that it's been an issue. It's not just this yeah. year. In previous years, it's been an issue because you, you, they hit about the fourth or fifth <laughs> inning. And all of a sudden they're at about 70, 80 pitches. And it's like, you know, look, I, I understand that the the teams that they've been playing against, the bats are, are solid. I get that. But yeah, they need to find a way to um, get that pitch count down because it's it's going to be – it's it's stressful to the bullpen. Yeah. And the Yankees have a legit bullpen. They got an awesome bullpen. But we can't, like, use these guys every single day for three, four innings. It's just these guys are going to get – they're going to experience burnout, and you know it's going to be a repeat of last season. Yeah, it's going to be a repeat of last season. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, Anna Marie is saying they need to go five innings every time they're killing the bullpen. But I think they need to go six personally. At least, at least at this point, I mean, at this point, I'd love five because we're not even getting five from everybody at right. this point. You know what I mean? Rodon last night four four innings, I threw 101 pitches into the fourth inning. That's crazy that's concerning um, yeah that's concerning and he yeah. hasn't been out of the fifth inning all season i think other than one start um so yeah uh our bullpen is going to be shot if we don't do something yeah and stephen b he's asking me this question you could feel and you can answer this of course yeah. um who do you move our rotation when cole comes back eventually because they're not going to go with a six-man rotation no. i'll be honest if if nestor is still struggling because he's so so right now for me. He's still, yeah, he's so so. He's a big que- He's still a big question mark for me. He is. I would move Nestor, man. I don't want to, but that's the guy I would move. But I could see a sit- scenario where Boone is like, "Now we're gonna move Luis Hill." If I'm if if I we know Boone, okay. Yeah. Uh, Boone is gonna go with the vet. So unfortunately, it's gonna be Luis Hill that obviously I think uh, gets kicked out of the rotation at that point. He's gonna ride with Nesta until he can't ride with him anymore. That's. What, you know, that, that's that's the good and bad with Boone. He's going to die with his players. He's going to back them up no matter what. But that could also be a detriment to the team when you do that. So um, it's going to be probably uh, – it's probably going to be heel at that point. It's gonna, I, yeah. I think so. If I know – yeah, if we know how the Yankees operate, if we know how Boone operates, like you said, I could definitely see Hill move into the bullpen. Would it surprise me one bit? No. 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 I mean, for God's sakes, the other day – Boone had the audacity to say we had a great infield defense. And he pulled the Isaiah, he pulled the IKF on us. Um, you know, when he said IKF was a, a gold glove type of shortstop, he said the same thing about our infield defense the other day. So you can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't back Boone. Uh, he drives me insane. You know, he, he had the nerve to go with outs above average when he got questioned about the infield, you know, let alone that our defense. Uh, leads the MLB in, in errors. Yeah. I mean, Boone, how do you ignore that? You can't ignore that. Yeah. So, no. uh, yeah. So we know Boone is going to be him. 
Yeah, I look, I have, you know, I've, I've had apparently I've I've had people say that I uh, th- that I said that I think Boone is a great manager. I never said that. <laughs> I never said Boone was a great man. I don't remember that. I don't remember yeah. that either. I have my criticisms about the guy. Yeah. I don't I don't necessarily bash him. I I, I don't because he has his he has his good qualities and bad qualities. I mean, I can he appreciate does. the fact that he can he backs up his guys. You know, no manager is gonna like put his players down like bashing their players. Like what manager is gonna do that? That's not gonna really do the that's where that's how you lose your locker room. So oh you'll lose your locker room instantly. And yeah. you know it, it, Boone, if you know, as far look as far as Boone goes, look, Judge wants him there, Cole wants him there, and if those two guys want him there, he's gonna be there. He's got to be Soto wants him there, he's definitely gonna be there. Oh yeah. So yeah. listen, so, if he gets those three have his back, we're gonna be seeing Boone for like twenty years. So <laughs> strap in. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll see. You know, we'll see what the future yeah. holds, but. Absolutely. Look, Boone, Boone um, I don't always agree with his decisions. I've, I've said that many times. I don't always agree with his decision-making. But to his credit, too, at the same time, it's like over these years, he this is the best team he's had so far. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, maybe he maybe he had a good team back in, like, 2018, His first season, he had a really good team. His he first did. season, he had a really good team. Yeah. Um, he was a rookie, obviously, so – I gave him a pass for that. But, you know, when it comes to Boone, he's – man, I just wish the dude would just be honest with us. You don't have to be honest with us. Just don't lie to us. Just don't right, – right. don't tell me that our defense – our infield defense is great when our eyes clearly see it's not. Don't tell me IKF is a gold glove shortstop when your eyes tell you it's not. So that's my only gripe with Boone. Just if, – if you don't want to keep it real with us – then just don't say anything. I'd rather you not say anything than you sit there and act like the fan base is stupid. Yeah, I mean, look, I, with him saying that the infield is is bad, um, or 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 good, or that it's yeah. great. Like, like yeah. yo, come on, man. Like, they're these guys are making errors. And as far as Boone's defense or uh, the the infield's defense goes, I mean, I I hope it's just a hiccup because it, it's been an issue. It's, it's been an issue because you're like Boone or not Boone, but uh, like Rizzo, for example, right? I'm not going to pick on Glaber because I, I think he gets picked on enough. That's the easy one. <laughs> yeah, he's, the, he's too one, easy. Unfortunately, yeah. but the infield as a whole has been it's not been great. You know, no. um, Anthony Rizzo is not Anthony Rizzo. I yeah. mean, today he, you know, today he did it again. So it was that play where he uh, hits a head straight to him and basically damn near hit him in the mouth. So uh, Rizzo's been an issue. It's been scary. Uh, obviously, Glaber. Uh, Volpe's been solid other than turning the double play. He's been wild on his throws here and there. Yeah. And, um, you know, third base, you know, Waldo's been fine. Uh, primarily, it's been Rizzo and, and Torres, really. And um, it's when, you, when it's your first baseman, you know, you don't want to feel like you have Luke Voigt at first baseman again. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah, that's uh that's where come on, Riz. You're better than that. Let's go. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't know what's going on with Rizzo, man. I don't I don't you know a lot of people are saying it's it's the concussion, but that should no. be done and over by now. No. If he can hit a fastball, yeah, he can hit a curve and he can hit over 260, which he's doing right now. It's got nothing to do with the concussion. Yeah. So they can no. throw that out the window. It's harder to hit a baseball than field a baseball. So it's got nothing to do with the concussion. Yeah, I, I was like, the, that concussion talk needs to stop because it's, yeah, not, it's got nothing to do with nothing it. to do with the concussion. It's been almost a year. Yeah, Usually nothing. concussions. I mean, they they last depending on the severity of it. I mean, I've had one. Oh, so, same here. <laughs> I know. So listen, it's gotten it's hard. Like I said, it's harder to hit a baseball than it is to field a ball, and because obviously you need more hand eye coordination to hit a, a ninety eight mile an hour fastball than you do fielding a, a baseball. So it's got nothing to do with concussion. Rizzo's has got to play better. Yeah, and uh, Gregory Wayne, we uh, – yeah, Damian and I would kind of cover this. Uh, I don't think the Yankees are going to stick with a six-man rotation. Um, that's that's probably not going to happen. Somebody – They probably will. Roll to the bullpen. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to it, to be I'm honest with you. Yeah. I'm not opposed to it. I think – you know, I talked about that, you know, a little while back, but I don't think the Yankees will do it. So – but I'm not opposed to it. I think it's a great idea, but I don't think the, I don't think the Yankees will do it. 
Yeah, and then Stephen B is saying I think uh, Giambi was better than Rizzo has been now. Ouch. Is that saying something? Uh, ouch, ouch. I would try to pull on that personally. Ouch. I don't know about that, man. Ouch, Stephen B, that hurts. <laughs> yeah, but I also do miss Mark Teixeira. That guy Greatest, was excellent. That guy was a vacuum at yeah. first base. That dude was a vacuum. Yep, getting – they're hitting, though, they, uh, they're – yeah, I mean – They've been getting a lot of outs and strikes, I mean, for sure. But I don't know. The, the, I still like where the bats are, all things considered. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been cold but um, these past few games. But I do like the bats better than where they were a year ago, you know. Yeah, not only that, but the people that we're worried about are our best players. You're talking about Judge, you know what I mean? We're talking about Rizzo. We're talking about Stanton. Um, it's not the bot, you know, the black hole last year was the bottom end of that lineup. You know what I mean? The Willie Calhoun's, the Jake oh, Bowers, so on and so forth. Court. Exactly. So when you when you're turning those guys around with Verdugo, you know, with Waldo, who Waldo's playing out of his mind, Volpe playing out of his mind. Um, once our regulars get to where they need to get to, we're not gonna have any worries about the lineup. The lineup is gonna be fine. I'm not that's the last thing I'm worried about. I'm worried about our pitching. I'm worried about the starters, and I'm more worried about our bullpen. Our starters got to start going deep. Uh, the starters don't go deep, we're going to have an issue. Yeah. No, the, we, we, there needs to be a better uh, performance from the starters, man. I mean, I, I don't know what needs to happen. I mean, Matt Blake and his staff, they, they need to figure that out because, um, yeah. you know, I, I don't like the fact that they're they're only pitching four innings and then in the fifth inning you're, you're – you're, going to the bullpen it's like okay we get that guys like um luke weaver could pitch two innings you know okay ian hamilton could do the same but we don't want that every single time right you uh, can't you know, do that yeah we can't do that and d rod's asking will cole stroman rodan want to do a six band that's the big question with this i, I, I don't... think somehow some way you would have to keep at the very least you'd have to keep cole where cole on his regular fifth day um, Rodon, guess what? You haven't earned the right to have a voice yet. Okay. You haven't earned it. So whether Rodon, you want to do it or not, you haven't earned the right to have a voice on that. Yeah. And, uh, Stroman, listen, uh, I think Stroman is along for the ride anywhere you go. Stroman's the type of dude. He doesn't throw hard. I think Stroman would be okay with a six man. Uh, the only one that would have to be on regular rest is Cole. Cole would have to go out every fifth day. Yeah, definitely. And honestly, I, I, you know, Cole, Cole will, He's the only one that can uh, have a, a say in all this. But, again, I, I, I think ultimately Cole will respect whatever decision, you know. And, I, and again, yeah. I think the Yankees will stick with a five-man, you know. Yeah, they will, no matter I what. I think they will, too. I don't, I don't see a six-man rotation happening. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, like you said. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see. Again, we'll see what happens, man. We don't, and we don't the way know. these injuries keep happening across the league, it might be forcing the entire league to go six man rotations. Yeah. Um, I, I so. hate it. I, I, I really hate it. I hate that all these pitchers are getting hurt. Um, I mean, granted, it's not pitchers on our team except for, you know, Cole, but he's not, at least he's not out for the season. But Thank all these God, guys are getting hurt, right? You know, you're, yeah. you're seeing your Shane Bieber's and, you know, Spencer Strider as of recent. Right. Huge. Giolito, um, you know, who, who else? There's some other there's big names out there. Some, um, there's a lot. There's, there's a, a lot. lot. There's yeah. a lot to keep up with, honestly, but it's scary. It's scary. Yeah, man. It's it's it is it is crazy. And you know, they're trying to they're trying to say that it's not um it's not the, the pitch clock has nothing to do with it. I'm I beg to differ on that one. I'm 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 still in the belief that the pitch clock is playing a role in it. It's not a it plays a role. No, it's not 100%. It plays a role. Yeah. It's a culmination of, of a, a few things like we spoke about plenty of times. Yeah. Um, it's a culmination of a lot of different things. Um, but pitch clock definitely plays a part. You know, and again, MLB is going to discard it because that's that's their bottom line. That's their dollar. So they're not going to they're gonna discard it no matter what. But uh, yeah. don't be uh, don't be surprised. The next uh, the next time they got to go to the table, MLB, uh, the MLB and MLBPA go to the table that we don't have a lockout. I promise you that. So, yeah. And you know, prior to the pitch clock, look, the pitcher, the pitchers were getting hurt. Yeah, um, they they were they were getting hurt even prior to the pitch clock. But a lot of that has to do with how hard they were throwing that ball. You know, um, now it's just like everybody's throwing hard. And you know, the 
the pitchers that are also out, like the Marlins starting pitching staff, like the whole staff. Yeah, Yuri the Perez. Yeah, Yuri Perez, uh, Cabrera, Cabrera, Alcantara, uh, Braxton, Braxton Perry, right? Literally the whole staff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole staff. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, hopefully uh, they can come down to a common ground to where the next time they got to meet at the table, there isn't a lockout. Um, but it's something oh, that we yeah, it's something that we better be prepared for when that come when that you know when that comes around because if they can't agree on it, there will be a lockout. Yeah, because when is that when is that happening? We got a few. We got we got some time. We I think about like five six years until that. Comes oh, around. all right, all right. Yeah, all right, yeah. All we right. got we, yeah, we got some time. We got some time. A, yeah, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of Tommy Johns from then until now. So, <laughs> so get ready, folks. Buckle up. Yeah, um, buckle up for your AAA starters going <laughs> in playoff games. Facts, so. bro. Facts. Oh, uh, but yeah, yeah we, you know, and by that time, uh, Manfred is going to be out. You know, because twenty nine, yeah. I think, is his last year as commissioner. Absolutely. So it'll be interesting to see who the commissioner is going to be. See what um, what new bozo they choose because they always yeah because yeah uh, Manfred has not been impressive. I mean he made he makes Bud Selig look excellent. Which he is, makes Selig look great. I know <laughs> it's terrible. And it's crazy to think about that. It's yeah. crazy to crazy to say that, but absolutely. Um, D Rod is saying that the CBA will expire in 2026. I think he says is it 26? Okay, well yeah, 26. So, yeah, um, if so, anybody yeah, else look- can corroborate that. <laughs> So let's let's look forward to the lockout after 26. <laughs> so. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, yeah, Jonathan is saying the same thing. He's saying that the CBA. Yeah. Will, so there we go. A couple of years then. There we go. All right. Well, we'll have like 20 more Tommy Johns by then. So more than that, probably. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Unfortunately. And he, uh, Greg Ruane is saying, uh, with pitchers going out with injuries and not pitching deep in games, most teams should go with a six man. You would think so. You would think so, but that's what they're gonna force teams to do at this point to do that yeah because teams are going to try to figure out how do we keep our players healthy how do we keep them how we keep everything intact and you know a big answer to that might be a six-man rotation is every team going to do it no um but a lot of teams might be forced into it so we'll see yeah and it's also worth mentioning uh with today's game Juan Soto hit uh hit that home run and he reached a milestone of 500 so, really? okay, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, 500 home runs in his cr- or 500 nah. hit, 500, 500 hit? hit, yeah, 500, yeah, I can, I can 500 buy that. Hit, my fault, yeah, I can buy that, <laughs> I can buy that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I bought that one. Oh, 500, oh, no, 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 sorry, so 500 career RBI, okay, going. I can, I'll, I'll buy that one too, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so RBI, it's probably RBI. got more than 500 hits by now, I'm sure, yeah, so. But yeah. he's got his 500th RBI. He's one of the youngest players to do it. He's not the youngest, but he was one of the youngest uh, players. Yeah. yeah, no, I got you, D-Rod. I said, I don't know why I thought home run because I <laughs> thought I home run and I saw 500. I'm like, oh, no, it's RBI. My fault. It's all <laughs> I don't, good. I don't, I don't look again. Hey, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. It's but um, 500 RBIs, man, that's a, that is a milestone for sure. I mean, Soto, you know, look, he's going to have his cold streaks – it's going to happen, right? It's inevitable. It happens to the best hitters. It happens yeah. to generational players. But, yeah, today he came up big, though, man. He he came up big. He was on um, base every single time. Yeah. Every single time. Let's start Hall of Fame, too. Yeah, and d Ross saying all the players on that list are, are in the Hall of Fame, too, except for A-Rod. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, who knows A-Rod? He'll huh? never get in. He'll never get in. Probably not, man. A-Rod, he deserves A-Rod it. shot himself in the foot. He did. That. He did. He made no friends. <laughs> no. A Rod made no friends. He made more friends out after baseball than he did while he was playing. So yeah, give Soto a blank check. Hey. Please. Absolutely. Please. We gotta give start a go. Well, well, we'll start a GoFundMe. Okay. <laughs> and I I promise you, I promise you, if, if Yankee fans started a GoFundMe, we would come up with probably half of that salary. I promise you. So there's yeah, what right. he can't have my money. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna offer him. That's the problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I had a lottery, maybe, but you know, I'll throw a ten in. <laughs> Freaking so. D Rod, but here's what he's saying about uh, A Rod. I think he, he shot did. himself in the butt with that syringe. Oh, he did, D Rod. He absolutely did. He did <laughs> multiple times. Don't forget oh. the cream too. So, man. But listen, yeah. brother, I gotta go. I gotta cook dinner for the baby girl. Oh. Um, 
Always right. a pleasure to uh, rock out with you, NFE. Chat, salute to everybody in the chat. Love you guys. And uh, NFE, again, man, always a pleasure, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you jumping in, man. I, I, I appreciate you jumping in. I always love getting your takes, man, because you always provide some solid takes. Uh, Damien's the man. He may not have his own channel, but – He's in. He's in with the with the with the content creators. He's yes, he's, he's he's in the end. He's in the. He's got the connection. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here slowly too. But thanks for jumping on and chatting with of me. Of course, bro. anytime, um, my man. Yeah, and I'm gonna go live tomorrow morning again. So I mean, you know, you'll. I'll you'll, see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Everybody in the chat, have a good night, everybody. I appreciate y'all. Have a good evening, bro. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, brother. Yep. Of course. Peace. Yep, that was Damien, you guys. Uh, always great to have him in the chat. I'm going to slowly wrap it up here too, you guys. Um, you know, again, this was my first uh, post-game video. Um, since Jason wasn't going live, I was like, you know what? I'll go live and, um, you know, chat it up with you guys. But I appreciate you all coming in and hanging out, uh, taking some time out of your evening uh, to talk about the game. Uh, so... I'm just glad the Yankees didn't get swept. I, I hate the fact that they lost the series, but again, at some point it was going to happen. So thank you, Anna Marie. You know, Anna Marie, I would love to have you come on one day. You know, I, I want to, you know, love to see you face to face. I know you're always in the chats with on Hector's channel, but I, I'd love for you to come on one of the open panels or something. I, I think that would be awesome. Um, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Stephen B. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I, I try to do what I can with these shows, man. You know, I'm a, I'm a one man show and sometimes I'll have folks come on with me. Um, I will have an open panel tomorrow, Jason. Uh, Anna Marie, I, I think we might've had this conversation before. I'm shy too, believe it or not. Um, outside of this stuff, like I could be a very shy person. I'm pretty introverted for the most part, depending on the environment that I'm in. But I've gotten a lot more comfortable doing this. I think once you get, uh, once you do your first uh, open panel, I think you'll feel more comfortable. And you know, if you ever decide you want to come on, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll make you feel welcome. I will make sure you are comfortable. So um, just let me, let me know, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, you better be nice, D Rod. If if not, I will come after you. I will find you. <laughs> so you be nice to Anna Marie. Everybody needs to be nice to Anna Marie. So, yeah, when it comes, you'll think about it. Cool. Cool. Think about it. No pressure, Anna Marie. No pressure whatsoever. Um, if you ever want to, you're always welcome. Okay. Uh, no, no, uh, no pressure. I was so shy the first time calling a customer at my job. Now it's, yeah, seriously, man. I mean, yo, I worked in customer, I worked in customer service for a long time and I remember I was like nervous wreck because it was like I was very weird when it came to talking to people. But then um, over time, it helped me out. And I remember jumping on the open panels with Hector and and Jason, uh, Uncle Tats. I remember I did my first show with Uncle Tats. I, I, I co-hosted with him and um, I, I was nervous, but I got I got comfortable and I, I'm, I'm feeling more and more comfortable doing these types of shows. So it's great. Uh, yeah, I will put you in the closet. Trust me. The way you came out, I'm going to put you in the same way, bro. <laughs> I might have to roll you up and roll you, roll you like a bowling ball. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, you know, I, I will do open panels on Thursday mornings. Um, so anybody, I'll put the link in there and anybody can come in and uh, jump on and chat it up so um anybody is welcome to right no pressure uh you know if, it, if it's your first time on the open panel i i get it you know i'll make sure i'll make sure you feel comfortable and i'll you know it's it's um you know it's a good time it's it really is a good time let's get to 600 that's right anna marie let's go let's let's get this channel to 600 subscribers you guys um if you guys haven't yet um, if you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this, uh, this uh, live stream. Share this out. You know, I'm I'm trying to grow this out. My ultimate goal, I want to get to a thousand subscribers by the All Star break. So you know, we're talking, you know, just a, about three months or so. And I, I would love to get to a thousand. 
and uh, video calls aren't bad now. I have customers wanting me doing service on my job. It's a great. Oh, it's awesome, man. Once you know what, man. Once you uh, once you interact with people and you make them feel good, you make them feel comfortable. It, it's like they 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 want to talk to you again. They want you to help them again. It's it's a great feeling, dude. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. I've had that. I've had that type of experience in the past before. It makes me feel good because it's like okay, they want my help. They trust me. That's the most important thing is to trust. They trust you, um, you know. That's the that's the most important part. Uh, Stephen, that's great. What service? <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there, D Rod. <laughs> oh God, that that's funny. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna see over a thousand. I I uh I appreciate that. I appreciate the uh. I appreciate the uh, the confidence, the vote of confidence. I'm hoping I get over a thousand. I would love to get over a thousand. Uh, I love the <laughs> service tech for HVAC. D Rod's mind is in the gutter, uh, but what else can we expect from D Rod? You know, support the Wookie. Thank you, Jeffy. I, I appreciate your support. Thank you for subscribing. Support the Wookie. Well, I guess I'm always going to be the Wookie from here on out. No matter what my hair looks like, no matter what my beard looks like. I'm always going to be the Wookiee. whoop de doo <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I got you there, Jeffy. Always in the gutter. Yeah, always in the gutter. Yes, D-Rod. Oh, man. But I guess you wouldn't be D-Rod if your mind wasn't in the gutter, right? I mean, let's let's be honest here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, guys, real quick, too, Um, I have a – uh, a, a link to, you know, buy me, to buy me a coffee. It's, it's just, you know, no pressure. If you, um, if you want to buy me a coffee to help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. There's a, there's a barcode, uh, or a QR code, should I say on the upper right hand corner? Uh, and you know, I'll, I'll put, I'll put the link again. So if you all want to do that, you can, uh, it, it would mean a lot to me. Uh, when are we bringing up Odor? I, I don't know, Anna Marie. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. My guess would be if somebody gets hurt, maybe they bring him up. I don't know. Uh, Dane, what's up, man? Hopefully you're doing well, bro. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I'm slowly wrapping it up here. So, or is it a closet match? <laughs> no, no closet matches. <laughs> None of that. No, no closet matches. That it's I, somebody's gonna get hurt in a closet. I mean, somebody's gonna get hurt on the mats or in the cage too. But let's be honest. But I feel like the closet's gonna be a lot worse. But what's going on, Dane? How you feeling, bro? Let me know. Um. But yeah, it was today's game. I'm I'm very happy. So with with the win, they didn't get swept. They lost the series, unfortunately. Not something we wanted, but the Yankees bats came alive when they needed to. Great to see. Hopefully, we see more improvement uh, from the bats, right? From the defense, especially with the defense from the infield. We need that. Uh, he needs the bats to be ready to go. Who are we talking about there, Stephen B? <laughs> well, at least D Rod's being honest here. <laughs> oh, God. You guys are funny. That's why I love doing this, man. You guys, you guys are, you guys are full of jokes, and um, you guys just crack me up all around, man. You guys make me, make me laugh. This chat is always like very lively. Um, you know, appreciate you all. Oh, Adore, yeah, he needs at bats. I don't know if he's getting at bats at the minor leagues. I'm not, I'm not sure, but he does need some at bats. You know, we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see if the Yankees do call him up. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll see what one, one way or another. So, but that's all I got guys and gals. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for taking the time to hang out and, and chatting with myself. Shout out to Damien for coming on. And um, like I said, I will go live tomorrow and I will have an open panel. So be ready for that. So thank you all. Much appreciate your support. It's greatly appreciated, really. Anna Marie, have a wonderful rest of your week. NFE, you're so nice, and I appreciate. Thank you so much, Anna Marie. I, you know, try to do what I can. I appreciate you, and um, you've always been you've always been kind. I have I have nothing 
bad to say about you. You're 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 very kind and well good hearted. So thank you so much, Anna Marie. Uh Stephen B, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, man. Uh 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um Hope to see all of you there. Again, open panel. Be ready. Uh, let's chat. Let's talk. Yankees have an off day tomorrow. They won today. They host the Rays on Friday. So let's hope it's another AL East rival. You know it's going to be a tough game. And um, we'll, we'll uh, let's hope for a series win. Let's hope for a sweep. Let's do what we can. So, and if you all get my, I'll get into trouble off my daughter. <laughs> Anna Marie, come on. It'll be fun. Yeah, Anna Marie, I'm calling you. No pressure, but I'm calling you. I'm calling you. And I'll see you all later. And deuces.